for today's video we're actually doing a warzone weapon build so for this weapon build it is a secondary and it's kind of like the only hint i can really give out for the moment but it is indeed a secondary build and it's definitely by far the best secondary build you could possibly own um so this is for warzone um again warzone warzone build uh and actually surprisingly this is actually a weapon good thing is it is uh banned but you cannot use this in ranked so uh in a ranked war zone it is banned this weapon in particular is banned um and we also just got a new attachment i'm not sure if anyone know know this or not but uh i'm not going to show it because i mean i'm not trying to get into the weapon build in secret but the build will be towards the end so if you guys can just leave a like leave a comment subscribe i'm trying to hit 2000 subs um so if you guys can help me get to that goal reach that goal i would greatly appreciate it and leaving likes will also make this make it so that this video gets promoted will more people can just view it so if you guys can just leave likes subscribe if you guys are new or old and uh we'll let the gameplay speak for itself wait oh, yeah, Plates. Uh, land it back. Squad mates redeploying. Well done. Give it the thing. You gave me the prompt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back on station. That Good was work. close. Okay, behind me. On the pier. He's still on the pier. Like right behind the ammo crate. Oh, uh, on the beach. Down up. And then water. Yeah, he's broke. He's dead. Oh, oh weird now. Wait, hey, Precision. See the pier. You've got reinforcements inbound. There's like one over here. Line him back to winery. Moving. Yep. Coming back. Yeah, they're landing back, landing back. Uh, on loadouts. Moving here. Yeah. Wait, they threw a cluster mine. Watch out. Enemy I didn't think they were going to kill you. I will not 
<laughs> to decode the signal, prioritize opening loot caches. Hey, there's a body full of plates. Uh, pushing you. He's Uh, climb up, climb up, back there. Hit once. You got reinforcements inbound. We're one of the top squads. Keep it up. I need to use some more shotgun shells. Multiplayer is really good. Enemy soldier incoming. Uh, incoming. Okay. Yeah, he dropped that one already. Right, right, right. Back 
boss is inside. One to stairs. Back at uh, uh, house. Uh, I know there's one lighthouse. Does anyone have any more shotgun shells? I need shotgun shells. Hostile counter UAV overhead. Well done. I'm back. I'm sure. Find a tree. No. Finished. On top of the lighthouse. He's down. Uh, not by me. Gas is inbound. Hi. All right. Will not die. He's you almost at me. Advise you head to the safe zone. You got a lot of ground to cover. Friendly mortar strike inbound. Waiting. Our lobby was mad. We're inbound now. Hook up and stand by. Yeah, GG's. I'll uh, probably come back too. Uh, Ooh, what a game. Dancing with the devil, living to tell the tale. That's what I'm talking about. Let's review. They should have like a reward for like most hated. Someone stole your thunder, huh? <laughs> Speed and violence make a great team. <laughs> Sent some love from long range. Yeah, the amount of times I killed like the exact same Solid people was hilarious. No this crazy too, because I'm not Let's sure. I don't know why push. people aren't running it. Okay, so for the uh, weapon build it is the Haymaker. So this is the secondary that I was talking about from the beginning of the video, just kind of like a separate recording. Um, and now I'm going to give you out, give you guys out uh, the attachments. So for the barrel, I'm using the Imperator. Imperator? It's, I don't know. This just feels so wrong to say. So I'm using the long, this long barrel. Um, 
the barrel, XM Phantom for the under barrel, uh, no stock, molten, the molten assault grip, and the maglif, the jack maglif kit. So I'm going to explain the attachments of choice. Uh, the long barrel, that way you hit more people, you know, from further down range, because there is a difference between like having no, no barrel and just having the short one. The short one feels nice, but you're not going to be able to hit like anybody from further down range. And just to kind of like give you guys a brief little demonstration. So right here. So I'm all the way in the back of the firing range and I'm hitting the second dummy. In the middle. Now, when you are using this thing, for some reason, the crosshair isn't aligned. The crosshair isn't aligned with like how the aftermarket part works. So every time you shoot, reload this. Every time you shoot, it's gonna not. You're kind of like you're gonna have to like kind of point it towards like your upper right area. So right now it's shooting upper right, like right where the crosshair is, like the two crosshairs on on the upper right side meet. That's where it's spreading at. It goes towards that side. Now, for these attachments, the underbarrel, the rear grip, and the stock is so you have more sprint to fire speed. Um, sprint to fire allows you to be able to shoot. It allows you like to go from sprinting to shooting, um, like the speed of going from sprinting to shooting. So, having more sprint to fire, especially on a shotgun, is going to help you out even more because you're going to be, for one, you're going to be running around with the shotgun. And especially with this one because this is really fun to run around with but you'll be running around and you need to be able to like uh pull the trigger as quick as possible so the a brief little explanation of how this aftermarket part works um the aftermarket part the aftermarket part turns it into a 410 uh drum mag this thing holds 60 rounds at first i thought it was going to hold 40 but it holds 60 that's much better and then again, it's also really, really scary. Um, it also increases your fire rate. So it's increasing your fire rate from, let's see, by 100%. So from 250 to 500. That is a lot. Okay. That is really fast. So the aftermarket part also has a double action trigger. So meaning that every time you pull the trigger it's going to uh so you shoot once like as soon as you let go of the trigger it shoots it twice so all you really got to do is just spam the thing and you have one of the most broken guns imaginable so that is the haymaker now i'm not sure if anyone really wants to know about the mtz i was using uh this is the ar version mtz 556 so here's the build on that too it's not like for perfection, this is kind of like something I came up with. Um, for the muzzle, I'm using the VT Spitfire Suppressor, uh, the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel, the Bruin Support Grip uh, for the underbarrel, 50 rounds, and the MTZ Marauder Stock. So that is the entire build of what I was using for the game. Um, hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and I hope you this build actually kind of like comes across you know more people because. This is, yeah, this is definitely, the more I think about it, the more I know that this, the aftermarket part is just going to get nerfed. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to see like a, some kind of like LMG aftermarket kit for the MTZ, this, uh, the assault rifle. Because being able to have like 75 rounds, maybe like a little faster fire rate was, sounds absolutely amazing. But yeah, uh, if you guys can, thank you guys for making it all the way towards the end of the video. Um, if you guys did, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs. And leaving likes also makes it so this video reaches out to more people. So if you guys can do that, those two things, I would greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.